Imagine existence as a texture, elastic like a trampoline net. Now, twist that net into a pretzel shape and allow yourself to travel backward in time. Have you ever wondered about what's truly out there in the universe and the incredible secrets it might be concealing? Well, prepare yourself for a revelation so massive it could change everything we thought we knew about the universe. Get ready for a deep dive into a space-time riddle that might just flip your reality upside down. Enter the world of the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, the bigger, cooler sibling of the Hubble Space Telescope, launched on Christmas Day in 2021. This telescope has taken its place in the cosmos, uncovering mysteries from the farthest, darkest corners of the universe. It's like the ultimate time machine, armed with powerful infrared tools that allow it to peer into the past. How does it do this? Thanks to its exceptional resolution and sensitivity, the JWST can detect incredibly old and faint objects, those that even Hubble couldn't capture. We're talking about distant galaxies and celestial bodies from the early universe, long hidden cosmic treasures that are now coming into view. The JWST is helping us piece together the universe's grand, dazzling puzzle, one infrared image at a time. Now, picture yourself in an art gallery surrounded by stunning images captured by the JWST. These images of distant galaxies shine brightly against the infinite backdrop of space. But among the astronomers and cosmologists, there's an underlying sense of shock and disbelief, as if they're staring at a Picasso painting in a room full of skeptics. What's the big fuss about? Why the tension? The problem lies with a long-held theory, the Big Bang Theory. This is the idea that our universe began in a massive explosion about 13.8 billion years ago and has been expanding ever since. For decades, this theory has been the cornerstone of our understanding of the cosmos. However, the new images from the JWST seem to challenge its validity, sending shockwaves through the scientific community. Why? Because the galaxies observed by the JWST aren't behaving the way they should according to the Big Bang model. They're too small, too smooth, too old, and there are far too many of them. Let's break it down. If the universe is expanding, galaxies should appear smaller the farther away they are. After all, light from distant galaxies left them when they were much closer to us. It's a peculiar but fundamental concept of an expanding universe. But the JWST images show galaxies that are roughly the same size as those nearby. Almost as if the universe isn't expanding. These galaxies look just as clear and defined as if they were right next to us. In fact, these distant galaxies are showing up smaller than what we'd expect, despite being brighter and more massive than our own Milky Way. Some of these galaxies also have higher redshifts, meaning they're moving away from us at faster speeds. This is strange, especially if we're working under the assumption that the universe is expanding. Back in 2014, Scientists noticed a similar anomaly in Hubble Space Telescope, HST, images. They found that galaxies with redshifts up to five seemed to behave like they were in a non-expanding normal space. People assumed the JWST would continue this trend, and it has, even with galaxies that have redshifts as high as 12. In simpler terms, these images show galaxies that seem to be the same size as those nearby. This hints that the universe may not be expanding, and redshift could simply be a result of distance, not expansion. If we still cling to the Big Bang theory and its expanding universe idea, this presents a very perplexing conclusion. These distant galaxies should be tiny to account for the supposed optical illusion of an expanding universe, like a grain of sand under a spotlight. Take for example a galaxy called GHC2, discovered by the JWST. It's far brighter than the Milky Way but only has a radius of 300 light years, compared to our galaxy's 50,000 light year radius. Its brightness per unit area is 600 times that of the brightest galaxy in our neighborhood. Not only that, but its density and the density of other galaxies found by the JWST are orders of magnitude higher than anything we see today. When you consider these small, dense galaxies, the concept of an expanding universe, and by extension the Big Bang theory, starts to fall apart. And that's why these discoveries are causing such a stir among astronomers and cosmologists. Over the years, the Hubble Space Telescope's images have hinted at the existence of numerous dense and powerful galaxies. These galaxies have long been a mystery. Now, with the JWST, things have gotten even more complicated. 
Some scientists have proposed that these miniature galaxies might have merged over billions of years, forming the galaxies we see today. It's like playing with toy cars, tiny ones that, when combined, appear as large, powerful SUVs. However, the JWST has closely examined these galaxies and found no signs of such cosmic collisions. If these galaxies had collided, you'd expect to see some sort of damage, perhaps distorted or irregular shapes, like a car after a fender bender. But instead, the JWST reveals galaxies that are smooth and sleek, just like the ones we see in our own neighborhood. In short, the JWST's discoveries have thrown cosmology into disarray. The images it's capturing of these tiny, smooth galaxies don't fit the narrative of an ever-expanding universe. These revelations are forcing astronomers to rethink everything the beginning they thought of the they universe knew about is the cosmos. often associated with a massive explosion, which is considered the starting point of everything. However, if time as we perceive it is not an essential property, the idea of a singular beginning like the Big Bang becomes irrelevant. This realization could fundamentally shift our understanding of the universe, suggesting a new framework that doesn't rely on time as a central element. Instead, the universe might be better understood as a whole, where past, present, and future coexist in a way beyond our current comprehension. This shift in perspective could explain some of the surprising findings from the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, such as the discovery of mature galaxies in what we once thought was the early universe. If time isn't fundamental, then these galaxies could be older than the Big Bang itself, without violating the laws of physics. In this new model, the universe might not have a single beginning or end, but rather exists in a complex and interconnected state, where past, present, and future timelines coexist in a non-linear manner. This worldview change could have profound implications for both cosmology and our understanding of existence. It challenges traditional concepts such as the Big Bang Theory, which suggests a universe with a clear origin and a history of continuous expansion, and the steady-state theory, which posits a universe without a beginning or end, maintaining a constant density and ongoing creation of matter. The JWST is not just offering new ways to observe the universe, it is also challenging long-held assumptions about the universe's history. For example, the JWST's images have shown galaxies that appear smaller, smoother, and older than expected. These findings question the idea that galaxies should appear larger as they move further away, due to the universe's expansion. One notable discovery is GHC2, a galaxy detected by the JWST, which shines brighter than our Milky Way but has a much smaller size, just 300 light-years across compared to the Milky Way's 50,000 light-years. This anomaly raises important questions about cosmic growth and the accuracy of current cosmological models. The JWST has also revealed a surprising number of mature spiral galaxies in what was thought to be the early universe. These galaxies appear as fully developed structures with stars that seem older than expected according to the Big Bang timeline. If these galaxies existed before the presumed birth of the universe, it challenges the very notion of a singular origin event, such as the Big Bang. This realization has sparked significant debate among astronomers, pushing the boundaries of our understanding of time, space, and cosmic origins. Beyond the observational challenges, the JWST's discoveries also prompt philosophical reflections on the nature of time itself. Modern physics treats time as a fundamental aspect woven into the fabric of Einstein's theories of relativity. However, some physicists have speculated that time may be an emergent property, or even an illusion, questioning the linear progression of events from a definitive starting point. These revelations suggest that our current models of the universe may be incomplete, calling for a broader framework that incorporates non-linear time and an eternal universe. This shift in perspective could radically transform our understanding of reality, offering a view of the universe where past, present, and future exist simultaneously in a complex interplay. In summary, the JWST is not only capturing stunning images of distant galaxies but also reshaping our cosmic narrative. By challenging the foundations of the Big Bang Theory and our concepts of time, the JWST opens the door to a new era of discovery that could redefine our understanding of the universe and our place within it. The lack of cosmic bumper gouges is a striking anomaly. One study, aptly named Alarm Features, highlights that there are actually three times as many spiral galaxies as scientists had initially expected. 
This is comparable to finding a busy highway with speeding cars but no accidents, an issue for the impact hypothesis. Without evidence of cosmic collisions, the idea that these smaller galaxies merged into larger ones falls apart. It suggests that these galaxies were never small to begin with, undermining the optical illusion we'd expect from an expanding universe. Without this illusion, the concept of expansion loses its foundation, leading to growing concern among Big Bang proponents. The presence of these small and smooth galaxies raises the possibility that the universe might not be expanding. If that's the case, the Big Bang theory suffers a major blow, and an alternative perspective emerges. The Big Bang theory suggests everything began with the explosion, but if these galaxies existed before that, it would imply the Big Bang never occurred. This could revolutionize our understanding of the universe's origins. Enter the James Webb Space Telescope, which acts as a time machine according to physicist Michio Kaku. It can peer billions of years back, capturing infrared images of distant galaxies that would be invisible to the naked eye. These colors, while stunning, tell a story about the age of stars in these galaxies. Young hot stars shine blue while older, cooler stars like our sun glow yellow and red. By analyzing these colors, astronomers can estimate the age of star populations in far-off galaxies. According to the Big Bang Theory, the farthest galaxies captured by the James Webb Space Telescope should represent a snapshot from around 400 to 500 million years after the universe's birth. However, some of these galaxies appear to contain stars over a billion years old, which is a major issue for the Big Bang Theory. Nothing should be older than the Big Bang itself. Another assumption of the Big Bang Theory is that, as we look farther into space, and thus further back in time, we should see fewer and fewer galaxies, eventually reaching an astronomical dark age. However, the new images suggest a different story. Galaxies as large as the Milky Way were already forming just a few hundred million years after the alleged Big Bang. The new images reveal that there are at least three times as many galaxies as previously expected, with redshifts greater than ten. This leads to the question, how could so many large galaxies form in such a short amount of time? The answer is likely that they simply couldn't have, at least not within the constraints of the Big Bang Theory. This revelation challenges the very foundations of our understanding of the universe. Moreover, there is a deeper philosophical dilemma at play. The nature of time itself. Modern physics relies on the idea that time exists as a fundamental concept, deeply woven into our understanding of the universe, from Einstein's theories of relativity to countless scientific principles. But what if time, as we perceive it, doesn't actually exist? This radical theory, though extreme, is not entirely new. Some theoretical physicists have speculated that time may not be a fundamental aspect of reality, suggesting that our experience of time could be a developing property or even an illusion.